Lần đầu tiên Lina được nghe bài Nhớ về Sài Gòn, Lina thích liền. Uh, I love the music and I really like the lyrics. Nhưng Lina không có để ý 100% um, những lời nhạc và câu chuyện trong bài hát. Bởi vậy Lina cứ nghĩ đây là một bài nhạc tình. Um, trong bài hát có câu Bao năm qua đời vắng em, nơi tha hương gợi nhớ tên. Anh tuy xa, lòng khó quen. Được biết là người tác giả là một người trung tá, nên Lina nghĩ đây là um, một câu chuyện về một người lính đi xa, nhớ người yêu, uh, mới viết ra bài này. So I always thought it was a love song. Uh, and it really is a love song, but it's not a love song between a man and a woman. It's a love song written by a man for his country. And I thought, wow. When I learned that, I liked the song even more because he was able to um, talk about love for his country without really bringing any politics into it. Um, he talks about Saigon as if it were a woman. He talks about how beautiful she is, how much he misses her, how much he longs to see and be with her again. Um, and I think that's just a beautiful way uh, to get the message across. Rất là tiếc Lina không có gặp được Bác Linh người trong nhà kia là Bắc Linh à, nhưng um, trong những buổi um, nói chuyện với người trong nhà thì Lina tìm hiểu được rất là nhiều về Bắc Linh à, tuy một người trung tá một người lính nhưng tính tình rất là vui vẻ rất là yêu vợ yêu con à, and I think that's really nice to see because in everything that I've heard uh, you know from my parents their friends or from watching television and history shows and and all that stuff. I, when you think of the military, you think of you know, tough men who, no emotion, all they knew about was fighting and protecting. And yet here you have a man who, yeah, did all of that, but who also was able to express his love for his country in a way that was so, so beautiful. I know he came to the United States in 1991, and uh, he struggled just like my parents did, and just like a lot of Vietnamese families did. He struggled to create a new life, and he uh, wasn't rich. Um, Nina nghe nói, mặc dù bác rất là nghèo, nhưng mà khi nào cũng lo cho em, lo cho vợ, lo cho con, lo cho cháu. Altogether, he had four children and nine grandchildren, and, and he loved all of them. Um, and so I think it's really special to see that side of a Vietnamese military man, a man who is also very soft, had a very soft heart, and um, really a man who is so talented, he could talk about something like his love for his country in a way that's just so sweet and, again, non-political. And so I think that that gets the message across. <laughs> Rồi mai đây trong ánh trăng thanh